In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You bring life, pardon, and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, for whose honor the Bishop St. Stanislaus fell beneath the swords of his persecutors, grant, we pray, that we may persevere strong in faith even until death. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the court officers had brought the apostles in and made them stand before the Sanhedrin, the high priest questioned them. We gave you strict orders, did we not, to stop teaching in that name? Yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and want to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles said in reply, We must obey God rather than men. The God of our ancestors raised Jesus, though you had him killed by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior to grant Israel repentance and forgiveness of sins. We are witnesses of these things, as is the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those who obey him. When they heard this, they became infuriated and wanted to put them to death. The word of the Lord. Be the Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall ever be in my mouth. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Bless the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord, the, Lord the, the Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, he rescues them. The Lord, the Lord hears them. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and to those who are crushed in spirit, he saves. Many are the troubles of the just man, but out of them all, the Lord delivers him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. The one who comes from above is above all. The one who is of the earth is earthly and speaks of earthly things. But the one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he has seen and heard, but no one accepts his testimony. Whoever does accept his testimony certifies that God is trustworthy. For the one whom God sends speaks the words of God. He does not ration his gift of the Spirit. The Father loves the Son and has given everything over to him. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life, but whoever disobeys the Son will not see life. 
but the wrath of God remains upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Of course, we celebrate the Feast of St. Stanislaus today, and uh, not one of these memorable uh, saints, I guess, in terms of modern times, but back in the day, you know, when he was a bishop, he was... Uh, having issues with the king, Boleslaus, who uh, you know, he, he excommunicated him because of his infidelity, and, well, Boleslaus would have no part of that, and he had him executed. And you think about what people will do sometimes. Maybe, maybe or maybe not, he didn't think that Boleslaus would execute him, but you know, you're, you're playing with fire once you cross the bounds of pointing out evil in someone and what their reaction is going to be. But it's the power of the Holy Spirit that in, 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 in strengthens him, you know, to, to help him move forward. And it's true for everything we do. Sometimes we feel a little uncomfortable of maybe stepping out of the box and doing something different, something that nobody else is doing because, well, nobody else is doing it. Why should I? But when you're drawn to it, 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 that's the power of the Holy Spirit working within us. And we need to respond to that by action, by prayer, by words, by action. It is about the calling. And sometimes we don't even know. You know, we don't know what specific thing it is that we have to do, but we try to do the best we can. And coming here to daily Mass is a good way to identify those things in our life because it gives us time to reflect, to allow Jesus to speak to us, that we might better know and understand what we're supposed to do in this life. Today, as we come to the altar to receive the body of Christ, let us ask for that power within us to be like you know the apostles when the when the Pharisees guard the Sadducees called them in and were ready to judge them and they just spoke out and said no you killed the Lord you know and think wow you know now why didn't they kill them like they killed Jesus power of the Holy Spirit enabled them to do what they had to do and they weren't going to kill him because taking away their life it's meaningless because there's more behind them. And that's what we are, the people behind the original ones. We continue to move forward and bring God's message to the world we live in. We offer our petitions to the Lord. For all members of the church, may the voice of Christ be our guide and lead us to deeper faith in him. We pray to the Lord. For those who govern, may God grant them the humility to be guided by his word. We pray to the Lord. For those burdened by any kind of difficulty, may Christ shine his healing light upon them. We pray to the Lord. For this assembly, may God create in each one of us a contrite spirit that is pleasing to him. We pray to the Lord. For the faithful departed, may they be crowned with the glory of everlasting life in heaven. We pray to the Lord. And for Greg Lorm, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. Almighty God, through the intercession and merits of St. Stanislaus, may these prayers be acceptable in your sight. We ask them through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God for you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, which we offer to your majesty in commemoration of the blessed martyr Stanislaus, that it may lead us to obtain pardon and confirm us in perpetual thanksgiving. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyr Stanislaus poured out like Christ to glorify your name shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness, through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim we your death, death, Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Mitchell, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us offer each other the sign of peace, and especially those at home. Peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be.
Let us pray. We have received your heavenly gifts, rejoicing at this feast day, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that we who in this divine banquet proclaim the death of your Son may merit to be partakers with the holy martyrs in his resurrection and his glory, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. The prayer to St. Michael, St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. May our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God be with you.